Hey, now with the two covers off there, I want to remove this whole timing cover. I can't remember if the water pump bolts go all the way through to the block and the head or whether they're just in the timing cover, but um, either way, I'm just going to zip it off. And that way I know I'm, sh I'm right. What I might do is just zip it away around. Yeah, see that looks like a fairly long one that might go through the whole um, timing cover and right into the block. I'll grab these few 12 mils. There's a nice levering point just in on the front here, so we'll just give it a bit of... Um, water pump's nice and clean, no obvious corrosion. That's great to see. Now we'll get this um, idler pulley tensioner out of the way. There's a little 12 mil up in here. We can squeeze in and grab that one. It's a bit bigger. We've got a 16 mil on the, no, 17 mil on the front. I'm also gonna have to pull this wheel off because I need access to some bolts in underneath here. Let's pop this little cover off. In the 14 mil bolt. a bit of a wipe down here first. It's pretty oily on the sump here. It looks like we're going to have to do a sump seal as well. Now just up in underneath here there's what one, two, three, four, little 10 mil bolts that secure the uh, sump onto this end of the timing cover. These would have been really easy to get out while the engine was still lifted up but hey do what you do. Okay, these have been a little bit annoying to get out just because um, poor access. So uh, note to self in future, undo these before I put the engine on the table. Just gonna sit those off to the side. Now there is a little timing mark here, so I've got it roughly lined up. I'm not exactly sure where that timing all sits at the moment, but things will move anyway while we undo this crank bolt. If we can undo this. Hey, now that was super tight. I don't normally have to spend that long with this to break these free, so, um, yeah, good luck with those. And I believe this can just slide off. Just double check that that is still roughly at the top dead center mark. So yeah, we've got a timing mark, timing mark, so it's still roughly there. I'm not too stressed because everything's gonna be pulled down anyway, uh, but I just wanna have a look at the timing marks before I start. Okay, now we have a whole series of uh, bolts here to remove. They're all 12 mil. Just gonna loosen them all first. I'm gonna keep them all in their spots for now. And then I'll have a look at how different they are. I've um, got a couple of 14 mils at the top there by the look of it. I'll just keep working around with the 12 mils first. That's a very interesting one. That looks like some sort of a drain or something. Probably didn't need to remove that one. I'm guessing that is for the tensioner in there. Um, we'll see when we pull the cover off. I think that's all my 12 mils. I'm just gonna have a look at them as I pull them out. These are all looking pretty well the same. Longer one at the top there. A bit of silicon on that one. Okay, so so far they're all the same that came out. We've got another one in there. In there, so 
The top one is very different. We'll just leave that sitting there. Again, that one's very different. These couple of 14 mils up the top here. Look, there's no mistaking those ones. Oh, one long one, one short one. There's no mistaking that when we put those back together. That's that one long one at the top. And on there, I can remember those. And we've got a 10 mil there. Those two 10 mils are the same. Now with that done, I think that is all of the bolts. Looks good. Now I'm just looking around if there's any obvious easy points just to um, lever this off. There's nothing presenting. Sometimes in the castings, there's a really obvious spot. Let's just give it a gentle tap and I'll just do it right from the top here. Once the top has freed up a little bit. And again, I'm just triple checking that there's no, um, no other bolts here because I'll look like an idiot otherwise. It's a little spot I feel fairly okay to lever from here because it's on the um, sort of outside of that bolt hole. Um, and I've got a, something I can kind of lean, lean off. And all I want to do is just go slow and just start to break the silicon seal. Okay, it's come off nicely around there. Let's see what I can do on this side. And there's a bit of a gap there to open that up now so I can just start to pull that off and away she comes. Okay, so the inside of our timing cover. So like I said before, I'm not super stressed about the timing marks at this point because um, I'll have it all pulled down and fixed up anyway. But from memory, there were some little dots that need to appear around here and at the moment, I set that about where I think top dead center was. So I'm just gonna go around 180 degrees um, and just have a bit of a look at what's happening. Come up there. So with it rotated, I've now got um, a very obvious dot there and there, dot there and there. Cylinder one uh, feels like it's at top dead center. Um, look, I don't have things perfectly lined up, but I've just put a little poker down the spark plug hole and I can feel it up nice and high. And just what's interesting to note is just the position of the cams. So for cylinder number one, which I'm assuming is this one, I haven't looked at a diagram, um, we've got the two lobes pointing inwards. On the bank over here, we've got these middle ones both pointing inwards. And I think that's what I remember looking up and seeing as to where the timing's supposed to sit. But I'm just in the disassembly process now, so don't quote me on any of that. So we'll pull this back off. 